guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, and today we are doing a plant tour. Yay! Yeah, it's a video that nobody asked for, but I am going through an unhealthy obsession with plants lately, so I felt like you guys needed to meet all my plants. So, if you guys are interested, make sure that you guys do subscribe, comment down below what you guys want to see next, and without further ado, let's go ahead and meet my plants. Let's start off with this video by just giving you a quick disclaimer. I am not a professional person that does plants. What's a person that does plants called? I'm not a professional, okay? I am just like your run-of-the-mill, basic, just beginner plant enthusiast. So that is what I'm gonna call myself, plant enthusiast. The first two plants that I want to talk about are actually my two favorite in the room. I actually have two peperomia plants. I have one right here in this little basket, as you can see. And then I also have one right here. I didn't think that I would love peperomias as much as I do, but they are actually turning out to be one of my favorite plants. Now what I love about peperomias is the fact that depending on what size pot you put them in, they will either get bigger or they will stay the same size. Well, I mean, obviously they'll get a little bit bigger, but they'll stay smaller. So I put mine in two like medium size terracotta and ceramic pots. This one has a crack down it. I know, it's fine. Just let her be. Also, it just got super dark. Like it's gonna rain dark. Anyways, I love these plants. I love peperomias so freaking much. I'm just really hoping that these get gigantic. What I love about my peperomias is the fact that they are more of like whenever they're dried out kind of add water they like to be in a dry environment so if you're maybe not like an everyday plant type of person or you want a plant that's a little bit less maintenance i always say this is a really really good beginner plant to go with if you don't want the traditional succulent so this is one of them and most of my plants i did purchase at either like home depot steins if you're from wisconsin you know what that is that's just like a local nursery. They are just my children, my favorite plant, so I really hope that I can get more. And also what I love is that they come in a bunch of different variations, which is amazing. That is the one that sits on my dining room table. And then this is one that likes to sit in this giant terracotta pot. I am kind of testing out which one does better. One of them is in more sunlight than the other. And I think this pot's just a little bit bigger, but I just love them so much. Next two plants are my herbs. This is my sweet basil plant. As you can see, she is starting to flower and she smells amazing. I don't really know how much I'm gonna do with this basil plant. I don't really cook a whole lot, but I do love the smell of them. I love the look of them. Now, herbs are a little bit more high maintenance of a plant in the aspect that they need to be watered every single day and they love a ton of sun. Our house is built in the 20s. It's a little bit harder to find good windows to put a lot of plants in but I have found some in my dining room where these plants are clearly thriving. Not a huge cook, but I do like the fact that there is some greenery in the house and it smells amazing as well. The second herb is my sweet mint plant, and as you can see, she has gotten a little bit out of control. She also smells fantastic. I'm not quite sure why she's not growing up and kind of to the side. These two plants love to sit in my windowsill. These are every single day waterers, so if you're not willing to water these every single day, don't buy herbs. They like water, but they smell good, so it's kind of worth it, you know? My next plant is this double-sided succulent. This was gifted to one of my coworkers, but when we got laid off from COVID, I did end up stealing her, so she is now my plant. The person that had this was like, yeah, I think I'm just going to let it die, and I was like, mm, no, 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 not on my watch. I will take it home, and I will nurse it back to health. I feel like Contrary to popular belief, succulents like a lot of water. I water this plant probably two times a week or anytime I notice that the soil is getting a little bit drier, I will water it. They just shot up ever since I started doing that. Lots and lots of sun for this one. She is just thriving and living her extra life. And she also likes to sit by my other herbs in the windowsill. And for some reason, that mint plant just really likes that succulent. So. We'll just leave them together and have them have their little merry time together and we won't ask too many questions about it. I also have this plant right here. This is a Sansevieria. Not quite sure. This was a gift. I didn't really think that this plant was going to grow beyond what was weaved together, but I was very wrong. We have some new little buds happening. 
I'm not gonna complain. It's also a very, very, very low maintenance plant. I know you can buy some that are really massive. You can buy some that are small like this. This one does sit in my windowsill next to my bamboo plant in the kitchen. Low light, there's not a whole lot of sun that hits that window. I do believe it's a north facing window, but everything is covered up with a lot of big trees around my house. So a lot of plants don't get a whole lot of sun, but this one is doing very, very well. Not my favorite plant, but again, I love plants. So I'll take any of them. Literally any of them. Also, it is so dark. Hold on. I need to turn on a light. I don't know why it's so dark in my house. Anyways, so this is my bamboo plant. Before I had her, one of her stalks did die, but since I've had her, she is just growing. She's thriving. Bamboo plants are also a really awesome beginner plant. You just basically have to keep them topped off with water. A lot of them will survive even without being watered. I've had one of my other bamboo plants for probably close to like almost 10 years at this point and she is doing good. This one's a little bit younger. I've only had her in my possession and basically taking care of her for probably six months, seven months at this time. They're easy care. So this is, a be this is a great beginner plant. Another easy plant that I actually have in my plant collection is this cute, snake plant right here. She just recently gained two little children on this side. Snake plants don't require a ton of water. You basically just have to feel if the soil is dried out completely, it is time for you to water her. Um, she is still in like the basic pot that you get from Home Depot or whatever with the nursery pot inside. I think eventually I will have to put her in a bigger pot, but if I do, I just have to make sure that it is a good draining pot because I don't want to drown my plant. But I really like this. I don't feel like she's growing as fast as I would like her to, but since these two little guys have popped up, it has made me a little bit happier. Nothing is worse than when you have a plant that you don't feel like is growing, and then one day you see two little babies pop up and you're like, okay, I'm a good plant mom. Next plant is this guy right here, and I know it could use a good trim, but this is a baby tears plant. This is a very messy plant because the leaves are so tiny that as, you know, they dry out and do their natural situation, all of those dead little leaves in there fall everywhere, and they are extremely messy. They're so beautiful. This is another plant that you don't need to water super often. Obviously, you don't want them to dry out too much, but if you do overwater it, then the roots and like the vine system that's in here will rot out. And I do want to say that this is probably the plant that started it all because I just got this cute pot and this cute plant and I got so many compliments on it that I was like, maybe I need more plants in my life. It likes sun. Again, the window that it's facing is actually a east side window. So when the sun rises in the morning, it does get a ton of sun. And then as it sets, obviously the sun does go away. But in the morning, whatever sun this plant is getting really likes it. I do think she needs a good trim, but kind of like her a little overgrown. You know, I kind of like it. Next plant is this big boy right here. My polka dot plants. I know they're like really not in focus, but these are my polka dot plants. I really wanted the polka dot plants that are like that baby pink color. Unfortunately, I was only able to find white and then this dark pink color. Hopefully one day as they grow, maybe they'll have babies. I'm not quite sure how these plants work, but maybe they'll have babies and maybe the babies will be baby pink. Hoping and praying that maybe some cross-pollination situation happens. I just think that the, the leaves on them are so beautiful. Super, super easy plant to have. They do like a little bit more of a shaded area. So I do keep this plant on the west side of my house. Um, they do sit in my landing, so it's a little bit more of like a dark area. This is another pet-friendly plant. You have a polka dot plant that you want to, I don't know, Donate to me. I will take it. This plant right here is the newest of the group. This is my rattlesnake Calithia, I think is what they're called. I do believe it's another form of like what a prayer plant is, which I also have, but this is called a rattlesnake. This is another plant that just likes moisture in the soil, but I just really like it. I think that it's just such a beautiful plant. They're just like, look at the leaves. They're, this just, they're too pretty. They're, they're just, ugh. I love plants. I'm really, really happy that I did end up purchasing this. I have this in a beautiful terracotta pot as well, and it's just perfect. All of my children are perfect. Next plant is my prayer plant. 
Now, I have never owned a prayer plant, and I don't really think I have her in the best place. I need to find a better place for this. This plant is kind of sitting in the middle of my house where she does get a little bit of sun in the morning, and then she doesn't really get anything for the rest of the day. So I think I need to either get her like a little shelf and put her in a better window or something. Love the fact that at night they fold up and it's just so beautiful. These are another good beginner plant, I think. Um, Again, these are things that I've read online. All you basically have to do is just keep the moisture in these pots there. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to drown the plant. But I think, I think I'm doing okay with it. Um, I have a couple brown leaves, but she's still perked up. I just have some experimenting to do with this plant. I don't know if I need to put her in more sun, less sun. I'm not quite sure. I do believe that prayer plants are another type of calethia. I'm pretty sure that's like what the actual like whole family of these is called. Specific one is called a prayer plant. I don't know if this is the right pot for it either. I'm pretty sure that this pot might be a little bit too deep where it's not drying out. I don't know. I could just be overthinking it. I just really don't want to do these plants dirty. So hopefully I'm doing right. If you are a plant person, please don't come for me and harass me. Can you just give me some advice? Like maybe I'm not doing it right or whatever. Maybe she needs a little bit more sun. So maybe I'll set her outside one of these days. And I think I'm doing pretty okay, but I don't know. So advice would be great. So this is my last indoor plant. This is my oldest house plant. It is a bamboo, okay? She's in a disgusting pot, but for some reason, she is just living her best life in this pot. I do have a new little something coming up. Again, I know it's disgusting. It's a disgusting pot, but like, can we talk about how big this bamboo plant is. She's massive. I don't know why this plant loves where it's at. I've had this plant at almost every single apartment that I have ever lived in. This plant has come with me to and from back home, moving back, going to another apartment, going to a new house. This plant has been with me probably since I was 18, 19, and I'm currently 26, going on 27. I think I need to just trim her up. I guess I didn't realize like how yellow some of her leaves were, so we'll just <laughs> forget about that. This is my last house plant. I do have an aloe vera, but she's dying. She actually got knocked out of her pot. Just take my word for it. I have her. She's in my home. I don't think she is mentally prepared to be on the internet, so we'll leave her be. But let's go ahead, let's move outside and take a look at my actual garden plants. Let's go do that. I wanted to talk quick before I head outside because my neighbors are currently um, having a rummage sale. So outside, I actually have two Three, I have three, four. We have four plants outside currently, okay? The first plant that I have outside is a jalapeno plant. I'm not a huge jalapeno person, but my boyfriend likes spicy things, so we have a lot of peppers. So we have a lot of peppers outside, okay? Second plant I have out here is a green bell pepper plant. Again, I'm not a huge pepper person, but I do have one. Third is a tomato plant. Not a huge tomato plant person, but it's a plant, so I felt like I needed it. And again, it's something that I can give to people. Now, I don't think my tomato plant is doing as good as I think it's doing. I don't know if it's in shock from moving pots or what's happening. She's not living her best life, it seems like. And then my fourth plant outside is actually a ghost pepper plant. Now, that is not my plant personally. It is actually my boyfriend's plant, but I was lucky enough to actually get him into plants, so he ended up getting it. So If you are a tomato plant person 
or you understand anything about tomato plants, please let me know if my tomato plant is dying. Um, I'm pretty sure that it is, and it's a little upsetting, but I just really think that I just shocked it from moving it into one pot into another. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my channel. I will have a bonus video maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna try to film one tomorrow morning, edit, upload, for either Sunday or Monday, unless you're seeing this on Sunday, then it's probably gonna be Monday. And if you don't see it Monday, probably didn't do it. And I will probably let you know in the description box down below if I did end up doing it. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Make sure that you guys do subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.